Hi, Assalamualaikum. Have a good day everyone. So today's lesson, we are going to discuss the subtopic 4.2 about the body defense. Okay, so the pathogen can enter the body defense through the respiratory system, the testis system, excretory system, and also skin. So the pathogen needs to be destroyed by our body. So our body has body defense system and it consists of two parts. The first one is the non-specific body defense mechanism. It consists of the first line body defense followed by the second line body defense. After that, our body defense also has a specific body defense mechanism. It consists of the third line body defense. So without further delay, let's continue. The first one, which is, consists of the first line body defense, they have uh, skin, mucous membrane, and secretions of uh, the mucous membrane. Yeah? And then second line, we have the phagocytic uh, white blood cell, and we have the inflammatory responses, and also fever. Inflammatory itu adalah radang atau bengkok, eh, bahagian yang terkena jahitan dan juga mengalami demam. For the third line defense, body defense adalah melibatkan sistem ketahanan badan kedalaman kita iaitu lymphocyte, antibodies and memory cells. So, we got the first line for the defense. It consists of the skin and mucous membrane. Skin is a layer and it's a difficult to, the, to be penetrated by the microorganism. And then, this, the characteristic of the skin is the human skin is made up and very tough. And then the microorganism can only get into the body if there is a wound or if the skin is injured. And last but not least is the skin will secrete the sweat and sebum, which that this can kill the microorganism. For the mucous membrane, it is a lining in the digestive tract and the respiratory tract. And then we also have the erector by the alarm kita. There is eye mata and also the vaginal secretion are uh, functional as the aseptic that also will kill the microorganism. And then in our nose, they have a nasal hair which is the function to trap the microorganism uh, that enters the respiratory tract. And also uh, the microorganism also trapped by the mucus lining at the nasal cavity. Okay, second line body defense. It consists of the phagocytosis process, which is the white blood cell will engulf and digest the pathogen using the enzyme through the process of phagocytosis. Next one is the third line body defense. It is about the immunity. Alright, the body immune system. Immunity is the ability of the body system to resist pathogen before it is infected. So it will involve the production of antibodies when the pathogen enters the body. Here we go, we look at more details about the antibody. What is antibody? Antibody is a protein produced by the white blood cell. So dalam badan kita ada white blood cell, dan dia menghasilkan protein itu. Protein itu adalah antibody lah. And then dia akan hasilkan ke dalam bloodstream, dalam kita punya darah kita in response to the antigen. And what is antigen? Antigen ini pula adalah foreign substance, bahan asing that comes from outside of our body and induce the production of antibodies. So, badan kita mengenal pasti antigen ini adalah musuh dan badan kita akan mula hasilkan um, antibodies. So, example of the antigen are pathogen, toxin molecules and also blood cell from the other group. The importance of the immunization. Immunization is an effort to stimulate the body defense against the infection, basically in the babies, children and also adults by injecting the vaccine. So, what is vaccine? Vaccine contain the antigen that obtain from the weakened or dead viruses or bacteria. Maksudnya, vaksin ini adalah antigen yang didapati daripada bacteria ataupun virus yang telah dilemahkan ataupun yang telah mati. And the antigen will stimulate the body immune system, forming the immunity against the infection. And the babies need to be injected with a few types of vaccine. So here are some examples for the immunization that has the animals of baby. Last but not least is about the strong immune system. So an imbalance in our body or too much toxin, so the, our body immune system will become weak. 
to avoid exposed to the polluted air. They have must have enough sleep and rest. Do not smoking or not exposed to the cigarette smoke, and also do not exposed to the pesticide. And we have to exercise and inhaling the fresh air, avoid stress, and also avoid the excessive intake of sugar. So with that, thank you very much. Uh, so hope to see you again and have a nice day. Thank you very much.